Hello, everyone, and welcome to Start Promptly in just three minutes. The host of the announcement today, Melissa Armour, is here with us. We'll be starting promptly in just three minutes. Uh, make up the, well, you see the title there. Melissa has the, uh, has the first slide up already. Make up the 20K a month, trading 30 minutes a day. This presentation is sponsored by the Stock Switch. Melissa Armour is the host of the presentation today. We we'll start promptly in now, just minutes. Start time in two minutes. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Last folks to join, I want to welcome uh, Bob Trader, Lex, uh, Bob, Luke, and others. Uh, Randy S. Bob, this is Online Trader Central. Welcome, Steve. We will be starting promptly in just two minutes. Two minutes start time, everyone. Thank you and welcome. Yes, we do see the slide. If you don't see the slide, it means uh, HotCon is aware that you have a lot of stuff on your, uh, on your uh, system and it goes to the taskbar. It says Hot Cam. It has the word Melissa beside it, Melissa S1. So uh, it says Hot Cam. And uh, it is now exactly 4 30. Let me get the percussion check. Drummers, are you ready? Percussion. Okay, and here And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Where we may be around the world, it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome a host to the next today for this event sponsored by the Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much, everyone at Online Trader Central. Thank you for having me today. And welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, LLC. And today is a very interesting topic. Of course, we're going to talk about trading, a subject that I love because I'm very passionate about what I do. I'm a full-time trader. And we're going to talk today about making up to $20,000 a month trading 30 minutes a day. This is something that you actually can do. It is within the realm of possibility. And there's a reason, and we're going to talk about that today. Now, if you have any questions or would like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswish.com, or feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And Kathy can put my information in the room. I have a lot of videos on YouTube as well. Have a disclaimer here so everyone understands and knows that trading the market, that there's risk associated with trading the market. When you take a trade and trade the market, you, you alone are, are responsible for the risk you place in a trade. Now today we're going to talk about making $20,000 a month. This actually comes out to about a quarter of a million dollars a year. In some places in the world, actually, crazy as it sounds, it's not a lot of money, depending on where you live. And in some places, it's like you make millions of dollars if you make a quarter million dollars a year. And I'm talking about U.S. dollars. But everything's relative, and everything has to do with how much you're risking per trade and the quality of the trade that you take and the time of the day that you choose to trade it. So we're going to talk about that today. So how can you earn up to $20,000 a month in the stock market? Well, is it possible? to make this kind of money in 30 minutes a day? And the answer is yes. Why? Because you can trade the open. Into the open, into the market open, at 9.30 Eastern time when the stock market opens, this is the equity market, there is a huge amount of concentration that happens in that 30 minutes of the day where trades are put on or off by institutions. They make these plans to do so prior to the open. 
And there is actually volatility, momentum, and a reliability in this 30-minute time frame. It's a very profitable time frame to trade. The thing is that you can't trade it in everything in the market, meaning every single strategy or stock pick on any given day. It only works in certain things. We're going to talk about what today. And also, you have to know how to read it. I found that many people shy away from this time of the day because they don't understand it. And yet, I've grabbed hold of this. I've, I've claimed this for my own this time of the day for myself, but it's the reason I'm very successful at doing it. And I do it myself, and I'm now teaching people. Here is the SPY. This was the SPY on Friday. You could have bought the SPY into the open. This is a long, okay? The market was a long on Friday. You could have bought the SPY into the open. Here's the open of the day. This is right in the first five minutes. This is a one-minute chart. And you could have been done actually in 10 minutes. Now, you could have carried the trade out through the day, but this move in here where you could have taken the trade around 185.90-ish, ran all the way up here, and ran up to, and had about a 60-some cent move with a very small stop. You, this could have been your whole day, just this, this right here. And this is something that I call the money trade. This right here is the money trade. Now, you could have held it for longer. You could have held it all the way to 10 o'clock. Here is a nice fat green bar into the 30-minute period into 10. But actually, if you wanted to do this in 10 minutes, you could have been done, and this could have been your whole day. And again, this is a very profitable way to trade. Okay? As it's very concise, it's very precise, it's very exact, it's very defined when it sets up. I have high conviction when I see these setups. And this is how you can take trades correctly. So it is also possible to make this kind of money in the market, meaning a quarter million dollars a year, because there is a lot of money to be made in the market. This is a snapshot of Wall Street. There is a lot of money to be made in the market, and people are making a lot of money in the market. And I find it so interesting when I talk to different people, they think it's shocking. Well, how could you possibly make a lot of money in the market? Are you kidding me? You, you, the market is made to be making money. I mean, the market is there to be to make a lot of money. I mean, there are people that are making millions of dollars in the market. There are, okay? Just because you don't know any doesn't mean that they're not. They're there. Trust me. People are making lots and lots and gobs of money in the market. So how can you earn this kind of money in such a short time frame? Well, you've got to focus on one strategy. Strategy has to make sense, and it has to be the focus. And this, again, sets up in the first half hour. It's gaps. This is what I trade. Ron can't see the chart there. Uh, Kathy, if you can help him. Can everyone else see the chart? This is CTRX. Can everyone see it? Here, I'm going to reset it for Ken really quickly. Can everybody see my chart here? This is a chart of CTRX. It's a daily. All right, very good. Yes, I trade the one-minute chart, stock rod. And anyone else has questions, let me know. But guess what, stock rod? I'm looking at this chart to decide what I'm trading, and then I'm taking the trade on the one-minute chart. That's one of the reasons why this system that I trade is so good because I'm looking at the overall directional bias from the larger time frame, which is a daily chart, and then I'm taking trades on the one-minute chart for accuracy. So let's look at CTRX. This was a gap. The stock closed, closed the night before here, and closed right around like 51.60-ish or so. Gap down, gap down the next morning, open, open under 47. This is a gap. The stock closed at a different price last night than it did the day before. Okay, this gap actually set up on Thursday, so this was Wednesday night when it closed and it gap down Thursday morning. Okay, so this is called a gap. That's the strategy. And one strategy is all you need. In fact, I'm actually a big believer. The more the time goes on, the better I get. I realize that in one direction is really key too, although you can trade my strategy in both directions. One strategy is all you need to earn a good living in the market. A good monthly living, okay? Playing professional gaps is a powerful strategy that offers the opportunity to earn $20,000 a month for individual traders or much, much more. Traders can book profits with substantial gains in a timely manner, and this is actually very important because as soon as you get green, you know, you're green. You're green for the day. You should never be green and then end the day not green, by the way, for those of you that are already trading. You can make money to pay your bills, live a full life, and work in less than an hour a day. Many people do not have time to take on a second job or a part-time job, meaning like another 20, 30, 40 hours a week. Trading is good because you can do it in a short time frame, and depending on where you live, you could even trade before you go to work or at work before your day gets hectic. 
Trading works as another source of income or a main source of income because the time commitment is small comparatively to other high paying careers. Let's look at what I'm talking about here. Let's just get a basic overall general understanding and a, and a perspective. Because I think traders lack a perspective about how great trading really is. The perspective is that the amount of time commitment per day is low and the money is high per hour. We are going to look here at industries with the highest levels of employment, okay? I just took this off of a general site thinking, well, you always say physicians, but it is just a couple different things. Offices of physicians, the average rate of a doctor is about $103 an hour. Comes out to, could be anywhere between $146 and $215 a year, okay? This is an average rate. Surgeons, $67 an hour, okay? And the bottom line is that 103 an hour is actually a pretty, pretty good income. Now, there are uh, jobs where surgeons are, maybe they're in the business for 5, 10, 15 years. They have their own practice. They're doing surgeries. Maybe they're even making $150, $200 an hour, okay? It's still the amount of time that they have to work to actually make this on an annual basis, the time commitment is astronomical. And this doesn't even include the schooling that it takes to get to this point because you can't get a job as a doctor until you've gone to school and done residency. And, and that's, you know, 13 years basically. So let's just compare this to trading. Hourly rate of pay per hour. Well, if you take the amount of money you make per hour trading, it far surpasses even the largest income producers for annual income. And that's doctors, attorneys, anything you can think of. Not only is it above minimum wage, it's far above the maximum wage earners. Compare approximately $103 an hour for top wage earners versus money and time investment in the market trading. So what really motivates you? If it's the money, if it's the money, okay, if it's really the money that motivates you, then trading is a great thing for you. For me personally, when I started trading, it was always the money. Uh, some people like to trade because they think it's fun. Now, I love to trade. I think it's fun, but that's not what motivates me. It's the money that motivates me. It's what drives me to work hard and to do this. And ultimately, trading is also about lifestyle. It's a great lifestyle when you trade. Why? Because you don't have to work 10, 10 hours a day. You don't have to work 50, 60 hours a week. You don't have to work a long, long time. Okay? So... I love trading also because it provides more security. It provides more security because I'm the one that's making the decisions. I'm not working for somewhere else where I might get fired. I might not get overtime, something like that. I'm basically working for myself when I trade the market, and you are too. And I love trading because I love the lifestyle that I can have trading. Freedom of time done in the mornings, and I can do other things of the day and also have weekends off. So you need the ability, which means you have to learn the how, what, and when. The how is how do you make money in the market? Well, you trade a strategy that's profitable, and it's professional gaps. Those of you that are asking, the strategy is professional gaps, and I'm going to explain what they are in a minute. Okay, Gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they create a large momentum to trade. What stocks should you trade? Stocks that gap and rate, and this is what I personally have designed. I've come up with a rating system. It's a 26-point rating system. Per the system, if the gap rates 20 points or more, I can watch it to set up on the day, and I trade the gap in the direction of the gap. So if the gap stops gapping down, and it rates 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system, I will look to short the stock on the day. When do you trade them? Early in the morning, on the open, when they set up and trigger. I'm talking about right now shorting stocks that gap down, or you could buy stocks that gap up. If they rate 20 points or more, you are always looking to trade the gap in the direction of the gap. Per the rating system, it must be 20 points or more. So for bearish gaps, I'm shorting, and bullish gaps, you're buying 20 or above, although I personally like to short. One quality strategy, that's all you need. You can make a living doing just this. You can make a living doing just this in one direction and, and, and just trading the beginning part of the open. Gaps offer a payout with good risk-reward trades. Again, the one-minute chart. And there is just no substitute for learning what to do because if you don't know what to do, you won't have conviction. If you don't have conviction, you won't risk your own money. And if you don't risk money trading, then it'll be impossible for you to make it in the market. That's the caveat. So knowing how and what to trade and when makes a difference in your results. And gap trading, and this is the strategy, is a lucrative method to use to get paid by the market. And it can be done. It can be done. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for years. And I'm teaching people how to do it too.
Trading is about generating income. Income generation. I don't care if it's part-time or full-time, it's making money. And gap trading offers traders visible income production because the risk to reward is so great. And also they happen on a regular basis. Every day you get up in the morning in the market, there's gaps. This isn't a strategy like breakouts or climaxes or something where you see it like maybe three, four times a month. This You get gaps every day. Now, there might be one or two days a month where somebody doesn't meet the criteria, then you don't train them, but then you don't trade that day. There's still 20 trading days in a month, and most days out of the month you get gaps. We're talking about stocks, equity, stocks, day trading, stocks. You are actually taking the position in the equity trade. No options, although you can take an option in a trade. Trading the option in the direction of the gap, you'd have to rate the gap and take it that way, and it would be an option trade. It would be different from an equity trade. I trade equities. And if you want to trade for a living, then it's very important to learn how to do something you can replicate in the market over and over because that's how you're going to get the consistent income generation, money coming in every day, every week, every month. So if you've been looking for something to make money in the market or some kind of strategy you can grab hold of and say, yes, this is it. I like this thing. Yes, I get it. Golden gaps, which is what I name my system, is a profitable strategy to trade. So how do you find these? How do you look for them? How do you rate them? I use the checklist. I use a 26-point checklist. I use this myself. I created it. It's on the daily chart. I'm looking for things on the daily chart. If I get them, I add them up. 20 or more, I'm looking to trade it in the direction of the gap. This rating system measures the gaps by rating them on the daily chart to find which stock, because there's many, many stocks in the market, to trade. I'm looking for, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, because sometimes you can get a move that moves all day, and you could take it as a swing or a core trade. A big move on the day, which usually happens right in the morning, early confirmation of the bias, and here we go, move between 9.30 and 10, move between 9.30 and 10, into the open, first 30 minutes, be in the trade, boom. Precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward and target potential. So, what is... A professional gap, for those of you that do not know, golden gaps, the system that I do, they're, they're professional gaps, which means they're made by the professionals. A professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. And by professionals, I mean true, true, true professionals in the market. Hedge funds, money managers, banks, trading desks, big, big traders. Professionals, professional money, okay? So in the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock was higher on the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are selling and or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower in the trading day. They're dumping it, they're getting out, or they're shorting it. And this is why, actually, I prefer bearish gaps, because gaps that got down have two things happening in them. And this is important. They got the shorting and the selling. And so, therefore, they have the double the potential for a move. That's why I prefer the downside. Now, I don't care what you do. You can make money in both directions if you play it right. Okay, I've been calling the market long. Good good calls I've been making long in the market. And, and I haven't been doing them. I don't go long. I like to short. But you can go long professional gaps if they rate 20 points or more. I just prefer shorts. I like shorts better because they move so fast. Either way, the gaps and the reason the strategy works well is because they are made by large institutional money. Gaps are created with large institutional money, and that is what makes the gap in the first place. For example, the gap that happened today in the market was not a good bearish gap. It should not have been shorted. It did not go anywhere, and it was not a short. It was made by professionals. If it was, the market would have closed and had a huge red bar in the day, and it didn't. The professional gaps that happen in play on in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. That's what moves the market. That's what moves stocks. And therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. And then confirm that the large money will flow with it, which is what you get into the open, the confirmation on the setup. So by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get the confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side. And then you play it. Gaps are an event. And they create a sense of urgency. We have to do something here. What are we doing? What should we do? This is what the institutions are deciding. They're deciding. Let's buy this. We have to buy it now. We have to sell it out. We have to do something right now. And therefore, an action is being forced by participants of the stock, people that are, that are in it, people that are already in it, other people that are in it. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. So trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of institutional money. You're trading on the side of power. And you can make money trading gaps because institutions make the gaps. And institutions take positions and make decisions into the open. They do it early on the day. Early on the day, and you can see it. 
And early trades provide good risk-to-reward trades, and that's how you can make money as one person with your one singular account. So some of the reasons to trade gaps is that it's a very high-paying career per hour if you figure it out, whether it's monthly, hourly, yearly. Large momentum moves that create the profit. Confirmation the gap will work or fail immediately on the open, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Momentum happening into the open to take good risk-to-reward setups. And the amount of gas you have each day and week allows for multiple opportunities to trade. Like, there's a lot of things to pick from and look at. You, you're not going to go a whole week and not trade. That's just impossible, okay? You're going to get gaps and good gaps at least three to four days a week, okay? So they provide regular setups and a lot of opportunity. One gap that happened here recently was on KL. This was opportunity. Opportunity to do what? To rate the gap. So you get up in the morning, you see what's happening. KO closed the night before up here at around 3890-ish. It closed here, okay? Opened the next day on the 18th. This is, it was Friday. This was Friday night. This is the uh, close of business. Then the next day, this was on a Tuesday. Market was closed on Monday. The stock gap down. Gap down, it opened under 38 bucks. The stock gap down. What happened here? What made this gap? This was an institutional gap. It was a good, highly qualified, good golden gap, a professional gap that was being made by institutions, and it sold off on the day. So you see this, you rate it. If it rates 20 points or more, you look to trade it, and you look to trade it, and you look to get the setup, and you look to do it quickly into the open. And it fell. fell. It fell hard in the day, followed through, and you could have gotten three moves out of this. So you actually could have been very aggressive on this. You could have taken this here. A better quality trade is one it drops on down to get a tighter stop here into the rally here. Still happening the first half an hour of the day. 9.30, 9.31, this is a one-minute chart. Stock sets up here, right here at 9.40. Look at this, a beautiful setup with an entry. You short the stock here, put the stop over here, and you take it down. And that's it. That's the move. In 10 minutes, you're done. You could have taken a little earlier. Stop here is better. Either way, money, money, and money. And that's it. You're done. You're done before 10 o'clock. Now, it did break a little bit more. You could have made a little bit more money on the day. But basically, this is a trade. You take it. You're up. You just let it drop on down. Boop. You're out. And you look for the reversal signs. Trade set up at 940. Price of the entry was 37.73. Stop is over 37.83. And I do use stops. Everyone over there asked me if I use stops. Of course I use stops. I have to set my risk parameters. If I didn't use a stop, I'd have an unlimited risk parameter, and that does not work for me. That does not equal a profitable trader. I have a set amount of risk. I don't go over that. And you can if you're going to be successful. And you determine that, but you must stay within that determination, okay? So 10 cents is the risk. 5,600 shares, which is $560. First exit. This isn't even the low of the day. No, we're even near the low of the day. Was 37.35. Total profit on this trade in 10 minutes is 21.28. The risk to reward is 3.8. That means that for whatever dollar you trade, you made 3.88. You turn $560 into 21.28. Rod is asking a question. He's saying, "Did you need 211,288 for this trade?" No, not in cash because you have something called buying power. Any person that trades knows this as a day trader. You have an account with a broker. The broker sets your leverage. You have leverage. You put the money in the account and they give you leverage. You don't need dollar for dollar the cost of a stock to short it or buy it when you day trade. I'm flat every day by the end of the day. And even if I took overnights, I'd still have leverage. It would be less leverage than I have intraday, but I have leverage. So you do not need the dollar for dollar. Do you understand? Depending on where you trade, and you have to check with your broker, you will get leverage. And you have to check with your individual broker for that. That's the beautiful thing about trading, okay? You get leverage. If I want to take 5,000 some shares of this stock, I don't need $200,000 cash, okay? I use leverage for the position, okay? Does that make sense? And if someone doesn't understand, ask me. 2128 for how many hours of work? Well, let's just add it up. So an hour prep time in the morning, because I, I prep in the morning, an hour prep time in the morning plus 10 minutes in the trade, that's one hour, 10 minutes of work. So you make $2,128 for less than two hours worth of work. Well, at one of the highest rates per hour, which is 103 hours per day, we say you work eight hours a day, you're a surgeon, that's around $824 per day. It's an example of a doctor's salary because this is a medium range. Even if it's a great doctor and he makes two hundred dollars per hour, that's sixteen hundred bucks a day, and he still worked eight hours to get that money. 
you worked less than two. Okay? So do you see here? This is why this is so great. Your lifestyle as a trader for the amount of money that you are paid for the time that you sit there and work is far surpasses anything in existence. That's why it's worth it to learn how to do it. That's why once you know how to do it, your whole lifestyle changes. Trading is a luxury. If you can do it successfully, the sky is the limit, number one. And number two, just the very essence of trading itself is a luxury. It's a luxury that some people will never be able to do, okay? And if you have the know-how and can meet up with someone like me, you, you've got a chance, okay? Because it's a luxury, a luxury that not all people that live in the world will be able to ever follow through and live out. Now, did this actually have follow through this trade? Could you have done this as a swing trade? The answer is yes. Why am I throwing this out there? Because you could take a position you could take the position and you could go off to work, do, 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 and you could leave and come back and look at the end of the day. Oh, it's down here. I like this. It's getting near the target. It's going to go lower. I'm going to take a little bit off here at 4 o'clock right before the close, and then I'm going to keep 100 shares or 200 shares down into a swing trade. So I sit. I'm on top of my trades in the morning. But if you want to take the position and hold some overnight, you can. Now, your risk parameters are different, obviously, for holding overnights, but you can do it. If you don't have time to sit and babysit all day, a train in the morning for 30 minutes, if you have to take it and go somewhere, you take it, put the stop in, come back and look at it at 4 o'clock, take it out, leave a little bit in, drop it on down to the next day for follow through. And again, you have to ask your broker what your buying power is for overnights, but you can get the follow through in these gaps. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get through some of this and then I'll answer some of these more uh, in-depth questions. You don't have to take uh, you don't have to take a licensing test to trade if you want to open up a retail account. You can open up a retail account and you don't have to be licensed. You have to be licensed if you're going to take other people's monies. If you don't want to take other people's monies, you don't have to be licensed. Then you open up a retail brokerage account. There's like a bazillion out there. You can go to anyone you want to. If you want to become a proprietary day trader, then you are trading uh, leverage for a brokerage firm, which qualifies, even though you're not taking other people's money. And therefore, then you do have to be licensed. And if you have more questions about that, you can, you can email me. I don't want to get too off track here about brokers because I'm not a broker. So I'd rather just refer you to some people to ask those questions. Okay? Bonus to the strategy, the setups work or fail immediately. Setups work in the first 30 minutes of the day. That's the great thing. They either set up or they fail. Either way, you see right into the open how the price is trading to know whether or not it will work. Within the first half hour of the day, watching the stock trade, you will see it set up. Or it won't set up at all, and it will fail, and you'll see it right away. Because if it fails, you don't take the trade. You don't waste your time. You, you could go back to bed if you want to, and you don't take anything else, or you look at a different gap. You don't waste your time with gaps. They're very efficient. They either set up and work right away or they don't. The time commitment is focused on just that first 30 minutes of the day. That first 30 minutes of the training day to get the setup, and this time of the day is accurate. It's precise, it's accurate, it's quick, and it's easy to read if you know how. Okay? The time frame is reliable and predictable and won't waste your time, meaning you are going to see if it works or not right away. If it does, you take the trade, and if it doesn't, you don't. Here was one that failed. People always want to know what ones failed. I actually did not do this. Why? First of all, it rated a 19. It wasn't over 20. So I have a system, 20 or more. Watch it to trade. 19 is 50-50 chance of working or failing. I saw this fail right away. Right away so it only rated 19. I didn't do it. I did not short the stock. I looked at it. It should have worked. It didn't. Why? It didn't rate over 20, number one, and it failed out of the gate, and I saw it. So there was no reason to waste any, any time on this. You are looking to make three risk to rewards of the low end, five on the mid end, and eight to ten on the high end. Risk to reward, that means dollar per dollar. Your goal, meaning that I'm not taking a trade. I'm not taking a trade unless I can get to a target, a, not a dream target, a mini target of three. If I don't see a mini target of three, I can, I'm not going to do the trade. That doesn't make any sense. Dream targets, when stocks go to dream targets, you can make eight to ten. Okay, I'll answer all your questions in a minute here. Just let me get through this one chart here. I won't forget them. Stay with me. Here was the failure. 
Now, how did I see this? What happened? What went on with this? FSLR gapped, gapped here. Closed the night before up here at $58. Open the next morning here at $50. Bucks. It gapped, it gapped down, it gapped down $8 every night. Stock open. Did, this isn't, there's nothing wrong with this here. But then look what it did. It opened. Here's the first five minutes of the day. The first five minutes of the day, the stock ran up hard and scooped around and ran all the way up to 5250-ish. So this is what? This is a failure. And why? Because this stock is too strong here. Now, it did gap down. I mean, there's nothing that's going to stop this from gapping down. No matter what you this did, this stock gap down. But do you see how that this isn't getting the follow through, the continuation here into the open? Now, could you have shorted this here? Yes. You could have. Would I have? No. I see the failure right away. Also, you, you did get a move because the stock really can move. You could, this was actually a dollar move. But I did not do this, and I would not have done it because it didn't meet my qualifications, and also I knew it wasn't going to go red in the day. If I'm going to short something, I want to know that the bar is going to turn red. The bar did not turn red. The only time this bar was red was for a tiny little period here in the first 60 seconds of the day when it went down and made that tail and immediately bounced. Do you see what this happened? So by the time the stock was rallying up here, look at this here. This is, it, this is where it rallied. It's 5250. Here's me now into this move. I'm up here. So it's 940. Do you see what the stock, if you just look at this here, it's 940. I'm not shorting that. It's too strong. Do you see that? So then, so then I don't do it. I see the immediate failure. Because the idea of shorting is you want to short something that's going to go red on the day, that's going to be weak, that's going to have the move, and it has to happen in the first 30 minutes. It has to go red. It has to turn red in the first 30 minutes. Or you're not going to make any money shorting it. You want to short stuff that's weak. So you spot the failure immediately. You don't waste your time doing it. Okay, let me answer a few questions here before we get on to the next example. How often do the gaps work for you? Percentage of winners versus losers. I don't know the exact percentage. I can send you referrals. I'm going to be conservative and say 70% winners and 30% failures. Although I have to be honest with you, I, I think it's higher than that. It's only because I'm so good at doing this. So I want to be conservative and say 70-30, 70% 70 70 winners and 30% failures. I do not get it right all the time. I get it right a lot. I get this right more than anyone that I know because this is all I'm doing. I'm doing it every day. This is all I'm doing. I'm doing it for over five years. I'm calling the market extremely well now. It's been very difficult to call because I'm very good at reading charts and I read the gaps in the market. I hardly ever lose. I do have one or two days a month I might lose, but I hardly ever lose. I do not like to lose. And any day that I'm down in the morning, if I really wanted to, I could come back. I don't do that anymore, but I'm good enough that I could. So the fact is, though, that the strategy itself, the system, the rating system, to conservatively say, I'd say 70% work and 30% fail. I would talk to people that trade with me, that have been with me for a year or more, and, and you can ask them. Nobody's going to say under 70. They're probably going to say higher. I do run a room. You have to take the class to become a member of the room. I do not let people trade in the room and join the room without doing the class. That is a decision that I made that I think is from the best interest of the people that are in the room, because I do a lot of teaching in the room, and also for individuals, because you have to learn what to do. You don't want to be a robot. I call the trades live with the setups and the entries and the stops, but in the end, you've got to learn what to do. What if I fly away tomorrow and you don't know how to trade what, I ta you know, what I'm doing? You'll regret that. So the time to learn for is now. The time to learn from me is now. I'll tell you that right now. The time to learn it from me is now, this year, because I can't promise you how long I'm going to be doing this, uh, actually teaching, not trading. If you can't short a stock in your account, you have to open up an account where you can short a stock. Boom. Easy. Easy question. Email me. I'll refer you to some brokers where you can open up accounts to short. Do I have a bucket of stocks I trade consistently? Absolutely not. No. I trade a different stock every day. Sometimes I look for things for continuation the next day, but that's it. I trade a different stock every day 99% of the time. I watch one thing, one thing at the, at the open that I like, my top pick, the best rated gap. I'm very good at narrowing it down on the things that I like. I traded deck today for continuation. That was it. And I called the market long. That was it. That was it. And I didn't do the market long, but I called it. I called it really well out of the gate. So I shorted deck today. 
Deck was a short from Friday. It was a continuation. I did peer on a Friday. Uh, let me ask some more questions here. When do I write the gaps? The day before you train? On the same day? No. In the morning, I get up in the morning, start the room at 8 a.m., and that's when I'm writing the gaps. You can write the gaps at night when you see them at night. I don't do that. I just turn off the computer and stay away from charts and give myself a 24-hour break. I look at gaps and, and in the morning. I get up early, 6, 7 o'clock, start the room at 8. I'm looking at everything. I'm writing the gaps in the morning. You don't have to get up that early. Some people sign into the room at 9, 9.15. I think you've got to give yourself some time to prep. If it's 30 minutes, an hour, 8.30, 8.45, you, to roll out of bed and start trading, you got it. You're not prepared. You have to prepare. Gaps, gaps for many reasons. Steve is asking about gaps. You can, you can stocks gap for so many reasons I almost couldn't name them all. Somebody gets on CNBC. Kramer likes somebody's stock will gap. Somebody quits. The CEO dies. The, there's an earnings report. There's a pre-announcement. There's a sector gap. The market's gapping. Uh, there's a downgrade. There's an upgrade. There's 24 million reasons why things gap. Uh, how do I find stocks to watch? Uh, here are some free sites. Here you go. These are free. And you'll see these on these sites. Okay. Any, anything's adequate as far as your margin. You're just going to have to size yourself accordingly. You work with what you got. Whatever your buying power is. If your buying power is 50000 that's what you got to work with. If your buying power is 100000 that's what you got to work with. You'll size yourself, your risk size, according to the buying power that you have available to you, Pi. Uh, what's the learning curve with experience level? Somebody actually was asking me about this earlier. And the fact is that it varies. I'd love to tell you it's exactly this many days and this many minutes and this many seconds, and then you're going to make this much money. But I found in the year and a snow that I'm doing this, that there's actually many, many different types of personalities that exist in the world. It's very interesting when I connect with people. Some people I connect with, okay, they're very experienced traders, know how to read charts and candlesticks and everything else in the world, but don't have any idea how to read gaps the way that I do. Then they take my class and they're like, oh, woo, and they go right away and start doing fantastic, okay, because they're not brand new to anything but gaps or what I do specifically. Then I have some people that actually are trading for 20, 30 years who are experienced in reading charts, but then I teach them something that's very, very different from what they learned, and they don't take it and run with it because they have to unlearn something that they thought that was right, but it's wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? So then they have a little bit of a wiggly jiggly because in their mind they have to say, wait a minute, it's not right, I know it's not, wait a minute, Melissa, so don't do that. And then it may take them a little time to get that out of their head. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that could be an experienced person. Then there's people that are brand, brand new. Never traded a stock in their life, never looked at a car chart, don't know what a candle is, have no clue what a green body looks. And they just learned everything from the get-go from me. And they may have a lot of questions, a lot of questions that seem basic, but I answer them. And then I, and then I help mentor them. So I, I can't even say a set time period. Why? Because everybody's personality is different. And everybody's level of commitment is different to this. If you have a level of commitment to this and it's high, meaning that you really want to get it, and you're serious about doing it, then you can do it. It doesn't have to take you 100 years. You do have to have a level of commitment. I do not use a scanner. I used to pay for one. I thought it was a waste between the other sites that are free. Uh, my targets are not the same every day. They vary depending on the chart. Uh, the learning curve, again, I'm just not exactly sure what your personality is. I could talk to you face-to-face -face if you want to talk to me and call me, and I could give you an idea from your experience what I think it might be. But you got to be honest with yourself about what you know and whether or not you're willing to say, I, I'm going to do what you say, Melissa. Somebody told me the other day, he said, you know what, whenever I do exactly what you say, it works. And whenever I do exactly what you say not to do, it doesn't work. And I said, well, that's an easy fix then. Do exactly what I say to do. <laughs> so, you know, 